Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we'll look at the random loot chest plugin. So you can see a few different examples in front of me. They have cool particle effects and if we look inside they can have various items which you customize. And then once you've used it, you cannot use it for a specified amount of time as you can see in the chat. So in order to create some of these, what we need to do is the forward slash random loot chest command. That's going to show us all of the different commands. And then you can do forward slash RLC wand to get a special blaze rod, which will allow you to create them. Once you have that, all you need to do is pop down the chest, left click it, and then it will give you a choice of all the ones you've created, which I've made three. And then you select it and it's as simple as that. You now have a random loot chest. And as you can see, I've created three of them and they all have different items. They have different amounts of time before they regenerate. And it is simply that easy as well. Now, if you want to reload, you can do forward slash RLC reload, and then you can choose which config file you want to reload, which is actually a really handy feature. And then you can do forward slash RLC extensions if you have additional plugins that hook into this, like holographic displays. And then you can do RLC save to save all the chest locations that you've put down. And then finally, RLC chests, it's going to show you all the different chests you've created and various information about them, like their max items, cooldown, etc. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and you can see there's a couple of folders and a few YML files. If we go into the config.yml, there's only a few things in here, such as how many rows the random chests have, whether the random chests are indeed random or specific. And then you can set up a MySQL database down here if you want to. And then we have the wand item, which requires permission to use. If we go back and go into the items.yml, this is where we can create items that can be carried out through any chest. And it makes it really easy to add them. So what you could do is simply just create a new line. And I'm going to just change all this random stuff real quick. And here you can see I've created a brand new item called Test. It's diamond, you get two of them. It has a custom display name and a 40% chance of appearing. If we save that and then go into the chest folder and then into cool.yml, this is the one I've created, we can see that up at the top we've got the title, you can change that, the cooldown in seconds, the max items four, max items that can be the same two, the particle effect. So if you go to this link here, which is this one, you can see there is a long, long list of different ones that you can choose from. And you know we could change this to a lava if we wanted to, and then also the amount. And then the contents and items, you can add anything from the previous file that you want here. So both the stone and the diamond are potential items that can be got. And then down here in the other content section, this is where you can add even more items specific to this chest. So in this case, we've got Golden Apple 2, Apple Sword 2, and you can see they have different laws. And then if you want to create more, all you can do is download one of these files and then re-upload it with a different name and then you can customize it yourself. So I've just downloaded it and renamed it to Server Miner. I'm going to upload it. And then once it's here, we can jump into it and I'm going to quickly change some random stuff to show you it works. So now that we're back in game, we can go ahead and do forward slash RLC reload and then we could do them individually or click the end book to reload everything. Then we're going to left click with the chest wand and then we're going to select the server minor chest, which I actually spelt incorrectly. And then we can go ahead, right click it to open it and we can see we have the axe that we changed, stone and an apple and then also the name up there has been changed as well. And then you can see a little bit of lava being thrown out too. So that is the plugin. That is how you would create a brand new random loot chest. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.20 and you can see the commands are down here, the features, and then any questions you can ask the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.